Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize animation effects. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a presentation here. It's two slides long and the first thing I'm going to do is show you what an animation is. So if I go to the View tab and I go to the Presentation Views group and I click the Reading View, you'll notice it starts up our presentation but nothing appears. If I click, now you'll see that the title is there. And if I click again, you'll see that the subtitle is there. Those are animations. If you've heard of transitions before, that's where slides uh, change from one slide to another and it will apply a transition effect. Animations are a little bit different because they're all within the same slide. So you'll see one, two, and then if I go to the next page, you'll now see that the bullets will only appear if I tell them to, if I click, right? So these are really good if you're giving a presentation and you don't want the reader to read ahead while you are presenting and you want them to focus on the individual bullets that you're presenting about. So that's what an animation effect does and that's what it's used for. So now I'm gonna show you how to uh, apply animation effects to your presentations. So the first thing that you should know is that the animations tab is right here. If you just click on the animations tab, you're not going to see very many of these options available. What you need to do is click within the title or subtitle, bullets of list, or any of the objects on your slide, and then you will see these options uh, become available. So if an animation is applied, you'll see right up here in the animation group that something will be shaded in. If you do not have an animation applied, it'll say none right over here. Okay, well we see that we have a shape animation applied and if I go to the effect options, which is just the right side over here, you'll see that I can choose what direction I want it to go as well as what shape I want it to make. So I'm going to choose diamond and you'll see that it changed it from a circle to a diamond. All right, that's great. Now, if I want to have some consistency between my slides, a lot of time I'll want to paste that animation to another part of my uh, slide or presentation. This is really useful if you, again, want consistency within it, but also uh, it'll save you a lot of time. And what we do is we use the Animation Painter to do that. So that's in the Animations tab, the Advanced Animation Group. And if I click Animation Painter and I click on it, it's going to copy whatever I have selected, in this case by title. And now if I click on the subtitle, you now see that it changed it from a circle to a diamond. Okay, and so again, the shape of when it was appearing is now a diamond. So I could go right up here to the Animations tab, the Preview group, and click Preview. And now you'll see the two slides. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, that's how those two slides appear. I did have to click on each of those slides for them to be seen. So now what I'm gonna do is I actually want the subtitle, appear, subtitle to appear right after the title. Since, it, um, since I want it to do that, it's, I need to go to the Animations tab, the Timing group, and I have to change this from being on click to after previous. So it'll go right after the previous one. So now if I do that, and I go to preview, you'll see it goes automatically. Okay, and so there we go. So now it's set to a, uh, after previous, which means it'll automatically appear after the previous uh, animation. Let's look at slide two. All right, so on slide two, which is right here, we see we have a bulleted list, and we on this bulleted list we see six numbers. It displays them in this order: one, two, three, four, five, six. If I click in the list on the bullet, uh, the bulleted list on the left side, notice that the numbers one, two, and three become orange. That means that any animations change that I make up here will affect all three of these. Sometimes you don't really want it to affect all three. Let's say I just want it to affect number one. Well, I'm going to right click on number one and you'll notice that only that is the orange one now. The, all, the rest of them are all in white, which means they're inactive. Okay, so this one is now active. So what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to show you how to uh, adjust your uh, animation options and so if I go to the animations tab animation group right below effect options you're gonna see a dialog box launcher that s says show additional effect options click on that and you'll see the circle dialog box appear okay so it says circle because the shape that we chose is circle for this and now I could affect or change my effects right here Okay, so within here, I can apply some different effects, and so I could apply a sound if I wanted to, 
Okay, so they have a bunch of different sounds for you to choose from. I'm not going to apply a sound on this uh, video because typically I try to avoid these. You don't want, uh, you know, all these sounds coming in on your presentation in 99% of the presentations that you're going to do. So I'm going to leave that as no sound. I do want to show you what the after animation effect is. This will actually dim your letters or your, um, your bullets after the bullet is shown. And so this right here, I'm going to choose red. And so I could choose that color right there. Also, if you want to choose from more colors, you could choose any of these standard colors listed here as well. And then you could choose to animate the whole bullet at once by word or by letter. I want to show you what by letter looks like. But before we do that, I want to change the timing to take three seconds. And notice that Office says 0.5 is very fast, 1 is fast, 2 is medium, 3 is slow, and 5 is very slow. Uh, it's typically recommended that you move faster through these because people don't want to be waiting on your animations to finish. So I'll usually go with very fast or fast, um, but I want to show you slow, okay? And so here we go. And then right here it says repeat, and I'm going to put zero. So leave that as none, okay? So, and then we click OK. And you'll see that it affects the first one if I go to preview. And one more time. Here we go and you'll see how slow it's moving. Now obviously it's not very appropriate to have this slow of an entrance for each letter. Uh, it would take a very long time to do. So let's go ahead and edit this uh, in a way that works a little bit better. Okay, And so I'm going to select the animations on the left side and remember when you select the bulleted list it will affect all three of these. I'm just going to affect all three of these at once. I'm going to go to the animations tab, animation group, and choose this one right here, float in. All right, and that's a little bit faster of an animation. That looks a little bit better. And now I'm going to choose my options for float in. Okay, go to the animation group, and to the bottom right of that is the show additional effect options. And we see that now it's called the float up dialog box. That's because that's the animation that we chose. All right, so in here, I'm going to again choose no sound on this. I'm going to choose red for the color to dim to and I'm going to do this by letter as well. Okay, so it's just like last time. The only difference is I'm going to adjust the timing to just one second. So that'll be much faster. And so you'll see that after we click OK, it'll show the animation and it's much faster. Okay, so that's uh, going to speed it up quite a bit. It might still be a little slow, so if you wanted to choose very fast, you could. All right, so we've previewed the animation and now I'm going to copy this animation over here to the animation on the or to the bulleted list on the right side. Again, that's with the animation painter. Animations tab, animation painter, click on animation painter, and then click on the right side. And you'll see that it applies the exact same effect with the red dimming afterwards. Okay? There we go. All right, and now finally for the slideshow preview, I'm going to go to the view tab, presentation views group, reading view and you'll see our first slide. So I clicked once and then automatically it showed my first one and my second one because that one was after previous. I go to the next page. All of these were set to on click. So it says uh, appropriate to land and then I click. Okay, so you'll see that dimming the letters always keeps you focused on the non-dimmed letters. Okay, and so that way everyone knows exactly what uh, bullet you're talking about as you do your presentation. So hopefully when you give presentations in the future you can enact some of these um, uh, tools into your presentation to make it a little bit easier for your viewers to follow. So if this video has been helpful for you please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions about this please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.